I've done several videos on salvaging parts from circuit boards and this would be just another one of those videos if it weren't for the fact that this board has a couple special components. So let me zoom in and we'll take a look around the board, see what's worth salvaging and what's not and also what those special components may be. Let's start our tour up here in this quadrant of the board. Uh, here we have one of those sounders. It's only got two connections on the bottom, so it's rather easy to recover. Uh, yeah, they're, uh, it's, it's not bad to have several of these around the piezo sounder. This is a power MOSFET. The only problem I see is the uh, leads are rather short, so they're hard to reuse. Over here, let's get this in the center. Over here is the 7805. It's got nice long leads. That is a fixed 5 volt power regulator. This I wouldn't normally recover, but this is a PIC16F883. It is a programmable microcontroller chip, so that's rather interesting. A lot of times these are soldered in place, and it's a real bother to get them out, but this one's in a socket, so I just have to pop it out. This right there is an op amp, and uh, those are always good to have. Again, in a socket, so easy to take out. Okay, let's slide it over this way. These are obviously relays, and well, to be honest, I've got a whole box of relays now because a lot of times these just don't go bad, and so every board I, I uh, take apart, I take the relays off of it, starting to get quite a collection. These are pretty good. These have a, a lot higher amperage rating than most, so I think I'll probably recover those. Okay, let's move again. Um, most of this other stuff over here leads too short, leads too short, leads too short. Uh, I think that's a thermistor, not really interesting. I've got some new ones. Um, yeah, most of these resistors down in here are just, the leads are too short. These little transistors are good. They've got still got some fairly long leads on them. In fact, we can kind of go back all the way over here. So there's a good supply of uh, ordinary transistors. Uh, and let's look at the uh, last piece on this board that has some nice surprises. We're getting down to the last components. We've talked about just about everything else. Here are four very nice power MOSFETs with good leads. Uh, this is an LM317. It's a variable voltage regulator, unlike the uh, 7805, which is fixed. This one with a few components can be made into a nice variable power supply. But the last things are rather unique about this board and why I saved it and decided to salvage it are these two heat sinks. Now they don't look like anything spectacular, but they're kind of a rare breed in that instead of being soldered into the board, they're actually screwed into the board. So when you're doing prototyping, you can put these in temporarily and do your work, set it up, test it, and if things work out, then you can uh, solder in some permanent heat sinks. Well, that's it for this circuit board. A uh, couple nice surprises on it, which uh, always pleases me, but some very good components well worth recovering. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your home electronics works, and i got to get my soldering iron out and get busy.